And now it's time for the adventures of the world's greatest superheroes, the ASS American Super Society. In our previous episode, the alien tyrant Cankersaur kidnapped most of the members of the American Super Society in order to use them to fight and defeat his enemies on his home planet. Meanwhile, Night Knight and Snapper Jones, who Gangersaur doesn't realize is in reality Captain Timely, were left behind as a trap for Sun King should he return. But he's busy suffering from dark matter poison in another trap set by Gangersaur. Meanwhile, somewhere in deep space, the space vessel of Kankersaur travels on into the embattled star system that Kankersaur intends to rule at the defeat of his enemies. <laughs> Alright, now we're nearing a small planet toy that operates as a temporary base for Prime Master Poop Scooch. Venusian Headhunter, you're up first. Don't bother struggling. <laughs> Though your mental powers of telepathy and telekinesis are indeed formidable, there are no matches for my technological wizardry that enslaves you to my will. <laughs> now, go out this airlock, descend to the planet below, and bring me back. Poop scoots. <laughs> and so, unable to resist the willpower of Kankersaur, Venetian Headhunter does exactly as he ordered. Soon, within the atmosphere of the planetoid, Venetian Headhunter encounters another strange alien spacecraft. Hmm, that vessel, it must belong to this Prime Master Poop Scooch. And since I'm unable to resist Kankersaur's power over my will, I, I'll just have to go with the plan and hope for the best that somehow I can outsmart him later. Hmm. According to my telepathic scans of the vessel, it is indeed heading to the headquarters of Poop Scooch. So I'll just follow it there and capture Poop Scooch at the first opportunity. Wait, what's this? Oh no! The ship spotted me! It's firing missiles at me! I've got to dodge them! <laughs> oh no! They're locked on my heat signature! Oh no! I've got the juicy face of a goodness! And so, the Venusian Headhunter does indeed engage evasive maneuvers in order to avoid the three missiles in hot pursuit of her. Zigging and zagging. He is miraculously successful in causing at least two of the missiles to impact on the alien topography below. However... Oh no! I managed to destroy two of those missiles in the canyon below, but uh, this last one, I, I'm unable to shake it. It's getting closer and closer, I'm running out of time. I... Wait a minute. Oh, and we've managed to uh, fly ahead of the position of the alien spacecraft. I, I've got to head directly towards it. Perhaps, just perhaps, its heat signature will uh, overpower my own, therefore taking the missile right up its butt. Meanwhile, above Poop Scooch's vessel... Hey, what's with all the racket? Oh, Prime Master, we detected an, an alien object in pursuit of our vessel. An alien object that may or may not have been a vessel or a creature. We couldn't quite tell. It basically looked like... A, a floating a testicle. A, a floating testicle? It must have been some sort of creature. Obviously, a potential spy for that nasty bastard, Kankathor. Capture it immediately so that I might interrogate it. No, oh, uh, well, uh, your highness, we uh, responded defensively and fired off three retro... Uh, missiles to destroy it, and since it's indicated, at least two of our missiles have already exploded. The, the, the spy is potentially already deceased. And, and, 
Damn it over here. I take five minutes to go take a dump and you idiots don't know how to respond to capturing a spy. Wait, right, Buster. Since I did the the creature is returning. In fact, it's coming right for me. Yeah, oh no. Hey, it's being pursued by our own missile. What? No, that, no, that. And so Poop Cooch's vessel is indeed destroyed by its own missile. The Flaming Hulk crashes down upon the rocky topography of the planetoid below. Miraculously, however, Poop Scooch himself manages to survive and escape the flaming wreckage of his ship. But... Prime Master Poop Scooch, I presume? You, oh my god, you, the nutsack! Nutsack? <laughs> no, 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 I'm the Venusian Headhunter. And don't bother trying to go for your weapon. You are now completely under my telepathic power. Oh, damn it. Listen, whatever uh, Kankasaur is paying you, I'll double it. I'm afraid you don't understand, Poop Scooch. You see, Kankasaur isn't paying me anything. I am as enslaved to his will as you are to mine. So, I guess we're both slaves of Kankasaur. Oh, no. Our Venusian headhunter... And the other members of the ASS, the American Super Society, doomed to remain slaves of Cankersaur? Find out in the next exciting episode of the ASS, the American Super Society. The ASS, the American Super Society, is a nail sin production. All characters are written and performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Music is provided by Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources. Yeah.